Thank you, Richard. Thank you, Mauro. Mauro, first, um, could you give us your thoughts on the match and also what happened? Uh, the first and the second half seemed to be different performances from both teams. If you could give us your thoughts. Yeah, I think uh, the first half we were able to uh, control the, the tempo of the game. It created some good opportunities. Um, you know, we didn't take our chances in, that, in the first half. I think uh, in the second half, we got a little bit too loose. Uh, and in different moments, they, they caught us on trans in transition. And we knew that that was going to be their, their strength, right? So I think the second half, we, we allowed them to, to creep back into the game from the transitions. We needed to be tighter, better. I think our hunt and our DT in the first half was really good. We were able to recover the ball really quickly. Uh, and then in the second half, we were just a little bit late and uh, recovering those balls. And then they were able to get out and, and uh, you know, create some chances from there. Thank you. Derek Van Dies. Amara, uh, I just want to ask you about uh, trying not to be too disappointed with this result because a, a win probably would have put you in the semifinal. How do you guys kind of take take what you can out of this game and then kind of refocus towards uh, Honduras now? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, we're, we're at four points right now. And, uh, you know, for sure we could be disappointed to not take the three. But at the same time, we got to learn and we got to continue to grow from here. And this game, put this game behind us. And the next one will be uh, Honduras. And that'll be the focus now for the next two days to, to go on and try to collect points against Honduras and get through to the second uh, second round. Thank you very much. John Molinero. Hi, Mauro. Um, just wanted to get your thoughts on Haiti's performance. I mean, what did you make of them? And was it kind of what you expected from them? Yeah, look, I think, uh, you know, they defended uh, well in the first half and not, not giving us much space. Uh, I think they did a, a good job of, of, you know, keeping their lines tight. Uh, and in the end, they, they grew from there. They grew from, uh, from that into the second half and, and put us in trouble a few moments. Uh, but overall, uh, it's a team that's resilient. These guys, uh, you know, they, they, they never quit. And uh, if you looked at their game against Honduras, the second half, even though they were down, they were able to, to grow in that second half. Uh, so for us, uh, we expected that, that it would be tough. Obviously, uh, you know, a little bit better in the final third for us could have, could have maybe uh, made the difference. But uh, today, we, we just didn't have that in the final third. Thank you. At the top, Paul Vance, please. Uh, thanks a lot. Thanks, Moral, for uh, for doing this. Just wondering about your your thoughts uh, in in starting with the Aubert in, instead of Ballou. Did you feel you would get more of an impact from Ballou emerging from the bench later in the game, or were you looking for a greater physical strength up front? Yeah, I think it's part of our plan uh, for us to uh to really manage some players throughout the tournament we know uh blue played 60 minutes and and just coming off an injury and getting him uh you know the minutes that he needed uh, we thought with theo bear i thought he did well in the first half coming off the front uh, setting the ball uh getting balls wide so uh, you know i think that was the plan going in we need to manage certain players based on their fitness level uh, and then uh, hopefully having blue come in in the second half uh, when it's a little bit more open where he could make things happen uh, he had that chance at the end to, to, to win the game, but unfortunately today it didn't, uh, didn't happen. Thank you very much. Michael McCall. Uh, hi, Myro. An exceptionally strong performance from James Pantemis in goal for you today. Some, some big, big saves. Can you talk a little bit about him and his performance and also just the the strength that that goalkeeping position seems to have for Canada just now at all levels of the programme. Yeah, I think a uh, fantastic game uh, for James. Uh, he came up big for us in those moments. And, uh, you know, that's what all great goalkeepers do is to be able to to make that key save in those right moments. And uh, today, they were, you know, they, uh, you know, they had a couple of good chances that he uh he was able to bail us out in and, you know, he credit to the other keeper, made a couple of saves also uh, on their end. But uh, in terms of the program, yeah, we uh, we got 
a good depth of goalkeepers uh, in Canada at the moment, um, from the top to the bottom. And uh, it's exciting, exciting for this country to see uh, how many good keepers are coming up through the ranks. Thank you very much. Peter Galindo, please. Hi, Mauro. Um, you mentioned it in uh, John's question briefly, but how did you, or what did you think of uh, how your team performed on the ball against uh, Haiti's low and, and medium blocks out there? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, the first half, I think there was some good actions. Uh, we were finding, we overloaded the middle and, and really trying to combine in the middle to find spaces out wide, got some good crosses in, good opportunities uh, from that. Uh, we just didn't take our, our chances. And uh, uh, I think, uh, you know, they were extremely low, compact and, and athletic, right? So the spaces, they closed really quick. Um, but in the end, you know, I think if we were a bit better in the final third, you know, that final cross or pass or finish, uh, I think we, we could have deserved better. Um, you know, in the second half, they grew from there. They, they were able to now, uh, you know, hurt us a little bit in transition in a couple of moments and we got stretched and uh, kind of shifted the momentum in their favor for a bit. Um, so, you know, these are things that happen in the tournament and we just got to learn from it and uh, collect the points tonight and get ready for Honduras. On va voir en français maintenant, uh, Monsieur Gavino, s'il vous plaît. Gavino, Paco? Euh, en fait, c'est Jérémy Filosa, mais je vais y aller avec ma question quand même. Euh, si c'est correct, c'est une question à deux volets, Moreau. Euh, en fait, euh, si tu peux nous parler un petit peu en français de la performance de James Pantemis, qui a été vraiment excellent, surtout euh, en deuxième demi. Euh, Balou aussi a obtenu deux excellentes chances, une dans le premier match. Une aujourd'hui, malheureusement, n'a pas été capable de convertir. Est-ce que tu dirais qu'il y a un petit peu de nervosité euh, de sa part, lui qui n'a pas joué énormément de matchs là, dans les dernières années? Merci. Oui, je vais commencer avec James. Je pense qu'en euh, première demi, pas beaucoup, euh, beaucoup d'arrêts euh, pour lui. Euh, je pense en deuxième demi, il a, il a fait son travail. Ils ont, ils ont eu des chances euh, qui nous ont mis en difficulté. Et puis, euh, il a fait des arrêts clés euh, au bon moment. Je pense que James, c'est un, un gardien qui, qui continue sa progression, il continue à grandir. Et tu vois ça, euh, pas juste sa capacité de faire des arrêts, mais même avec ses pieds. Euh, il est très calme euh, dans les buts. Et puis, euh, je suis très content pour lui, hein, en espérant qu'il peut continuer à, à jouer de cette manière. Euh, au niveau de Balou, oui, il a eu la chance à la fin. Et euh, c'est sûr, leur gardien a fait euh, un bel arrêt. Euh, dans ce moment-là, et euh, je pense que c'est une question de rythme avec Balou. Euh, quand tu as ce rythme, euh, euh, des, des chances comme ça, ils, ils vont rentrer. Et, euh, et maintenant, il doit continuer à travailler, il doit continuer à, à faire son travail. On voit ça à l'entraînement, mais à la fin, euh, s'il continue de cette manière, il, il, va, il va trouver une façon de, de compter. Merci, Jérémy. Uh, we're going to just have a couple more questions, but en français, Hadi Rafiel, s'il vous plaît. Oui, merci, Richard. Uh, bonjour, Moreau. Um, je veux juste savoir par rapport au, au on a vu plusieurs ballons à, en profondeur à Tijin Buchanan derrière les défenseurs. Est-ce que c'était une tactique euh, selon le plan du match, euh, c'est arrivé plusieurs fois, puis malheureusement, vous n'arriviez pas à trouver l'espace entre les défenseurs et le gardien. Est-ce que c'était un, une de vos consignes? Oui, on voulait, euh, des fois, il y avait, l'autre équipe était, avait une ligne haute et puis euh, on voulait euh, produire ce double mouvement. Un qui, qui vient en appui et l'autre qui, qui cherche le ballon euh, en profondeur. Et malheureusement, la qualité de nos passes était un peu longue aujourd'hui. Euh, euh, et à la fin, beaucoup de ballons ils ont, ils ont passé à la ligne et euh, il, faut, il faut corriger ces choses-là, mais je pense qu'il y avait des moments que si la qualité des passes était là, je pense que Buchanan, il rentre tout seul euh, dans, dans ses mouvements. Alors, euh, c'est des choses qu'il faut corriger, mais quand même, euh, à, à la fin, euh, you know, pour, pour tes jeunes, je pense qu'il euh, a travaillé tel, tellement fort de, tout au long de, du match. Il a produit cet assist pour Balou à la fin et malheureusement pour nous, aujourd'hui, ce n'était pas assez 
euh, dans le dernier tiers. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much for